Good morning. Even though this says live, this is still circling. So now I think we're actually really live. So good morning. How is everyone? This is Friday. Friday morning. I don't know about y'all, but it's a bit of a slow day for me. Some of y'all may just be running crazy, but it's kind of like the energy has shifted. I feel a change in the energetics, and that they're, they're kind of like coming in a bit hard-hitting, but, you know, we adjust to that. We expect certain things, don't we? So, I'm working with this deck today. The Starseed Oracle by Rebecca Campbell. It's a pretty neat little deck. And since we all, all are made up of stardust, I thought it was appropriate. It's time for us to recognize what we are, who we are, and how things work in our life. So two cards showed up, actually. So I'm going to do two readings today, two of the same deck. So the first one, this one, says you are not alone. You are not alone. Isolation, physical connection, and community. It's kind of a hard-hitting card since we are, some of us are in what's considered mm, not being able to be with others. But this card is saying, the older the soul, the deeper the cave. Many star seeds and old souls enjoy their own company. Spending time alone can be comforting and necessary for thy, their vitality. Helps them recharge their battery banks. It also allows them to communicate with their soul and fill up their energy resources, especially if they have an underactive or open root chakra or find it hard being human. Good morning, Debbie. How are you? We're talking about stardust and star seeds today. Many star seeds find it more nourishing to retreat than to spend their time in meaningless conversations and relationships. However, we must remember that we are not here to go about this life alone. Humans are pack animals and we all need the love, company, and support of others, both emotionally and physically. Yeah, I love it too. I really do love it. In our increasingly online world, we can be connected to more people and yet feel more alone and isolated than ever. There is still so much we don't know about the energetic side effects of things like social media. With so many people knowing our news, what is it going to do to our auric field? You have to always protect yourself. Protect your auric field. Protect your space. Put yourself in a beautiful bubble, a column of white light. You have to be strong. Commonly, we find ourselves in constant conversation, yet lacking the genuine connection of physical community and touch. The main message of the card is to step out of your cave and physically reach out to those in your life. To replenish when you need to, but not isolate yourself. This could be seeing friends and family who live nearby or having a regular catch-up walk with someone. In what way can you open yourself up to the people who are physically in your life? Those who you know. Those you truly know. How can you reach out to people in your life physically? And it can be a little bit of a trick, but we can figure it out. We are not necessarily made to be alone. And, of course, we're not alone. We have our beautiful, beautiful spirit guides with us. But this is a challenge right now. So step up to the challenge and see how well it is that you can um, handle it, traverse it. Yeah, very interesting. And then the second card that jumped out, that came forward, this one, and it goes pretty good with that one. It's called the Cosmic Heart. Devotion, potency, make your life a moving prayer. Cosmic heart. So, and it can support this one that you're not alone. When you surrender to a state of devotion, you find yourself flowing with all of life. You're being called to refocus your attention deep within, 
to the intelligence of your own heart, to bow with deep reverence to your inner temple, to live your life in devotion to this place, to make your life one big moving prayer. Perhaps you felt a bit off kilter lately, sensing that the potency of why you're doing things has gotten a little watered down or weak. Putting you, perhaps you've forgotten what made you start doing them in the first, start doing them in the first place. If so, this is your call to take a moment and reconnect with the truth at the very center of your heart. To devote your life to what you care about. To, no, to get back to the essence of what you're about. Get back to the essence of what you're about. I love that. To devote your life to what you care most about. To turn your gaze deep, deep, deep. There are seasons for harvesting and seasons for sowing. Right now, you're being called to plant your soul seeds and sing them with deep devotion. To feed them with the sweet waters of your own soul. To lose yourself in the potency of what it is that most expands your heart. To live your life according to what makes you come alive, rather than what everyone else thinks. To make your life one big moving prayer. So the question here, how can you make your life a moving prayer? I'm sure there's many, many ways. Debbie, yes, it's very interesting. So you had a weekend hike with a friend. Good. Yes, it's perfect. You all can do that. It would be great. Just get out, walk with somebody. Reach out. Come from heart space, though. Don't come from lack. Don't come from, oh, we can't do that. We can't do this. No, you can do whatever you want to. Just come from heart space and be gentle. How's that? Okay, everybody. Thanks for joining in. Thanks, Debbie. We'll see you all later. <laughs> Good. I'm glad they're speaking to you. I love you. Love you all. And talk to you on Monday. Okay. Bye.